Hi, I'm Krista Dennis, and I'd like to welcome you to Shaker Ridge Country Club for Thirsty Thursday. It is the last one of the season, and we have something very special planned. As you know, we've done a lot of signature cocktails from a variety of country clubs around the country, um, and we thought it was about time for Shaker Ridge to have its own signature cocktail. So we've been working with Johnny Curtin from Albany Distilling Company. Um, he came, played a round of golf, toured around the course and was inspired by it to create this new and exciting cocktail. I give you Johnny and the Shaker Ridge. Thanks, Krista. Uh, as she said, I'm John Curtin from Albany Distilling and I'm going to talk to you about the Shaker Ridge cocktail. So I started off with a rye base. Um, this is the ironweed rye that we make right up the road here at Albany Distilling. Rye is my personal favorite whiskey. Uh, it's also the I think the best cocktail base as far as whiskeys go. It's got a nice spice to it that plays well with, with other drinks uh, or other, other ingredients. Uh, Ironweed is our signature whiskey uh, and it's named after the William Kennedy novel of the same name. Uh, William Kennedy is a well, former journalist and uh, Pulitzer Prize winning author of Ironweed and a few other uh, Albany cycle books they're called. Uh, Iron was, was famously made into a film with Jack Nicholson and Meryl Streep uh, and Tom Waits. It was filmed right here in, in downtown Albany and in the surrounding area. Uh, so there's a nice literary and, and generally, you know, uh, relatively well-known cultural tie to the name. And as a, a big fan of Albany myself, uh, we wanted to celebrate our rich cultural his history uh, with, our, with our whiskey. Um, so the rest of the, of the drink is based around, like I said, as Krista mentioned, the round of golf I played here, there are cherry trees growing wild all over the place. So I thought I'd incorporate a cherry element into the cocktail. And to balance that out, uh, I have some orange liqueur for a little brightness. And then because the orange liqueur and the cherry are a little on the sweet side, I thought some sweet vermouth would be a nice counterbalance to that. So it's essentially, uh, it's, a, it's a variation on the Manhattan. Um, it sort of integrates the, the classical, new, old-fashioned uh, ingredients of, of cherry and orange. So without further ado, now normally this might be stirred, but because it's Shaker Ridge, we're gonna, we're gonna shake this one. So fill up the uh, shaker with ice. I'm gonna make two cocktails, one for myself and one for Krista. So I'm gonna double up the recipe here. So normally it would be an ounce and a half of rye. I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce, which I'll just double it to a single pouring of an ounce and a half of the orange liqueur. And then a quarter ounce each, or in this case, half ounce, of both the cherry liqueur. And the sweet vermouth. Pop that into the shaker. Science fact here, the ideal shaking time is 17 seconds. That's how long it takes for the ice and the liquid itself to reach equilibrium in terms of temperature. I was talking, so I lost count, so we'll say that's exactly 17 seconds. Pop that off. Pretend those are exactly even. And for a garnish, just do a wedge of orange rind. Just give a little twist to get the oils out, run it around the rim, and drop it in. 
Now I'll do another one. Didn't cut myself on camera, which is a nice uh, bonus here. And there you have it, Shaker Ridge. Well, I'm very excited to sample this, Johnny. Sure. Yum, delicious. Thank you. So tell me, um, how many of the ingredients would we, what, what would we be able to source locally besides the ironweed? So right now, uh, just the cherry liqueur, which is made uh, by another local distillery called Harvest Spirits out in Valencia. They make a, a cherry liqueur called Cornelius Cherry. Uh, there used to be a locally available triple sec from Tuttletown that I, I don't think is available anymore. And vermouth is kind of hit or miss. Um, there are a couple New York State vermouth threes, uh, but they don't distribute much up here, unfortunately. They're, they're pretty limited. Um, so between two and four, depending on how lucky you get. Excellent. And, well, we don't grow oranges around here, Sorry. but <laughs> they're, uh, they're a perfect, perfect garnish for this drink. Indeed. Excellent. Well, you can look forward to having a Shaker Ridge here very soon. Cheers. Cheers.